this is why they say before jailbreaking to back up the phone to back up the phone to iTunes. You know why? Because I tried jailbreaking this phone and it didn't go very well for me. What happened was it went well. It was go everything was going well for a while until all and then when I was done jailbreaking, I launched Cydia. And then when I launched Cydia, it, it was doing what it was supposed to do. But then when the phone restarted, it's supposed to restart. But then when the phone restarted, when I booted back up, all, a lot of these apps were missing. Even the App Store was missing. Even Safari Mail wasn't there. But then when I restarted the phone again, it was there. But then it kept, it didn't launch. But now it la launches. So what happened was, the reason... You know how I got back to my home, my regular home screen, got all my apps back because it needed to be factory restored. So I had to factory restore it. And once it was factory restored, I good thing I backed the phone up. So then it was backed up. So then it had to be factory restored. So then when I factory restored it, I clicked I clicked restore restore from backup so then when I clicked that it, everything went back to normal so if you don't want to cause any problems please do not jailbreak your phone please do not jailbreak your iPhone but I was just doing it because I just wanted to dual boot the phone but it, it turns out it didn't really work I have I found my mom's old 3GS and I and it runs iOS 6, so I could just use that instead. So yeah, you may not want to jailbreak it. It it, it works for some people, but it didn't work for me. Good thing I was able to recover it. So that's about it. That was miss. So that's about it. All right. Bye.